Uh, at this time, I am going to introduce our uh, quarter, incoming quartermaster, uh, David uh, Allringer. He was born in 1986. He joined the uh, military, the Army, in 2007. Did his six years, and now he is a veteran, and he's been into conflict in the uh, overseas conflict with the uh, Afghanistan and Iraq wars. Please welcome David Allringer. Good morning and good evening for our friends across the ocean here today. Um, in the state, I would like to give a special uh, thank you to uh, Mr. Alan Abelgas for his wonderful speech in the opening of this ceremony. Today, we gather as one in solidarity this Memorial Day here at Coretta Cemetery with our fellow comrades in body, mind, and spirit from the Cebuano descendants of the Spanish American War Veterans Group. To honor our fallen service members, both past and present, who answered the nation's call and made the ultimate sacrifice. Although the name and date of this time-honored tradition varied between the states and the U.S. until being formally observed in 1866, the act of citizens showing humility, reconciliation, and honoring the fallen memories and bravery has not. For the veteran of foreign wars and its members, it is our sacred duty to make sure that the selfless sacrifices made by our veterans and fallen comrades who believe that freedom is worth fighting for and if necessary, dying for, to ensure a better tomorrow for our great nation and its citizens will never be forgotten. This is the core principle embedded within our organization's missions and value, vision, to serve, advocate, and ensure service members, veterans, and their families are respected, recognized, and entitled to what they earned for their service. I know these past couple years have been incredibly challenging both at home and abroad for our nation and assistance with a feeling of sorrow, loss, and mourning. But I ask as a fellow veteran standing here today, this Memorial Day, for everyone listening to look inward and reflect on what gift we were truly given through our fallen comrades' sacrifices. Feel and draw from them knowing what they did was for honor, patriotism, pride, and to ensure that the pursuit of freedom will always shine bright in each and every one of us. It is our duty as veterans and citizens of this great nation to put these feelings into action so that organizations like the VFW and the CDSAW today can continue to motivate and inspire the generation of tomorrow to preserve, honor, and cherish what we were truly given by our fallen service members. Um, it has been an honor and a privilege to be able to speak to everyone today, um, myself being new to the VFW as well. And um, your sense of duty towards the betterment of others and selfless sacrifice and the preservation of history and the fallen inspires and motivates me personally to help fulfill the sacred duty here and now. Thank you. <laughs> 